No. Ah. Uh, score 15 on flat. Oh my god, it's lagging. Score 15 on Flappy Bird. No way did that hit. One. Oh, oh this is going to be a piece of shit, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be a piece of shit. What the fuck is this game? I'm not sure I could get five. I, I can't get one. No. Whoa, this is going to take a while. Shit. Where's your ad block? My ad block is turned on weirdly as well. Okay. <laughs> I think this is fitting. Fuck! No! That felt like the run, but I couldn't help giggling. <laughs> no! Personal best! No! I choked! I choked! To be fair, I saw the guy who made Flappy Bird in the street once and I walked up and punched him in the throat. Would have said it was unjustified until I played the game. Would have said that was too much and then I played the game. I'm getting fucking ad spiked. I'm getting lag spiked by the adverts for Amazon Alexa. It's lagging because of the adverts. This game is, it's unplayable. Wait, why is it paused? Oh my fucking god. Ah! No! You did, you distracted me with the bits! This message is just to make a sound and distract you. 100 bits. You've got to be shitting me! Don't choke! Don't choke! Keep it going! Keep it running! Keep the run going! Keep it go- Okay, alright. Let's go! Oh, ask my question? No, you don't get a question. You don't get a question if you complete the task, do you? I thought you only got a question if you rolled ask a question. We decided for this one you could. Okay, here's my question then. If you're gonna be so kind as to give me a question without me even really requesting it, here's what I'm gonna get. Where do I even begin? Um, what's the recipe for a train track? Snowpoint enabled emote only mode? Oh, so I don't get a question then, do I? I don't get a question, do I? Wonderful. It's tin? It's not tin. There's no tin in the game. There's no such thing as tin. Six iron and a stick. Six iron and a stick. But that- I've already tried that. I've already tried six iron and a stick. I already tried that! I've already done that! I swear I've already done that! You did copper? Aww, dumbass. Dumb fucking ass fucking idiot. Make a little track. Put the minecart on the track. Hello, hello. <gasps> we can get in and we can move it. Incredible, I love it already. I literally, I love it already. I love it. Maybe they're supposed to go... Maybe they can go... Oh my fucking god, they can go downhill. This is how I can do a kickflip. I can get... I can ride a minecart down the mountain, up a ramp, and then kickflip... and land in the ocean. Yeah, I'm gonna out there. Yep, that looks fucking killer. That looks, perhaps in a literal sense, killer. Alright, I hope this works. I hope the physics work the way that I'm thinking they do. Minecart. If I die... Bruh. If I die doing this... 
Oh, God. Surely I won't die doing this, right? <gasps> bye bye, minecart. Oh. Oh. That didn't pick up any speed. It lost all of its speed immediately. Hmm. If I die doing this, God, what a glorious death. Holy fuck! <laughs> that was... That was not as good as I thought it was going to be. Just got kidnapped by an old Japanese bloke and bring dragged on a Tokyo bar crawl. Wish me luck. Oh no, don't tell me you fell for the worst tourist scam in Japan. May the Lord have mercy on your wallet. Nah, he seems alright. Old bloke gave me his business card. Just want to show me the tourist drinking spots. He's out of town here on business. Uh, oh, okay. Anyhow, be safe with these kind of things in Japan. Usually they lure you into a bar and just get you hammered and use your credit card like it's a fucking slot machine. If you don't have a credit card and they bring you to an ATM, it's a scam. Okay. Then follow-up tweet. Follow-up tweet him with an old Japanese bloke. Yeah. Mystical bar cat. Hardest escort quest I've ever done. Old mate did not want to get in any taxi. Practically walked him halfway home. Night ended with me getting robbed. Decided to trust the wrong stranger. Found my way home in the end. Huh? Here goes. Wish me luck. Fucking yeah! We're losing so much speed. I mean, th th this is just shit. This is just shit. Okay, I give up with all of this. I give up with it. I'm disassembling the ramp. I'm disassembling the ramp. It doesn't work. It's shite. I also don't know how to put things in the minecart. It's just all shit. It's all a big barrel of shit. Oh, let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel. Please, something good. There's nothing good on this wheel. The wheel is just full of nonsense. The wheel is just full of bullshit. The wheel is just full of bullshit. What? 15 squats? Oh, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. <laughs> don't, okay, don't fucking, don't, don't talk to me about the form, okay? I can't lean any further back. I'm not that flexible, okay? If I squat down and lean back, I'm just going to fall over. I'm just going to fall over. I can't, I can't squat, <laughs> I can't squat down this far, or I'll fall. I don't have the ankle mobility. Puff your chest out. One, two, three. Four, <laughs> five. All right, that's it. That's all you're getting. All right, Bren just tweeted. I I knew it was a scam. I was on the streets, and I <laughs> I knew it was a scam. I was on the streets. I went back to the bars after I uh, after I made sure the old bloke went home, and uh, I went had a couple more drinks went out into the streets and some bloke was like, come to a bar, come to a bar. There's a, a bloke from Ghana. And I was like, this is a, this is a scam. I know it's a fucking scam, <laughs> but let's see where it goes. <laughs> so I was like, what's your name? I was like, he was like, ah, my name doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I'm like, no, it does matter. And then I, I sat him down and I, we had a little heart to heart. I found out his name and I found out he's trying to emigrate to Australia and Canada. Either one. 
I was like, I believe you can do it. And then we, we saved each other's numbers. I couldn't save his number. <laughs> and then um, we sat down and I said, I'll come to your bar if you have one drink with me here. And then we had a fucking shot of tequila each um, at another bar, at like a local bar. And he was like, okay, now you're coming. And I'm like, yeah, okay, now I'm coming. And then uh, I followed him. I knew it was a fucking scam. I knew it was. But I, like I said, I wanted to see where it went. Took me <laughs> to the seventh floor of this fucking building. And it's clearly like some place where they just try and rob you and rinse you. It's like fucking 2,000 for a drink. Um, there's just like a bunch of women just grabbing my legs. I was like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. See, I'm just going to sit in the corner. <laughs> And uh, eventually the bloke leaves me, but at some point during then to when he came back and when I left, when I tried to pay, they must have got my wallet and spent all my money, or just took all my money. Um, I don't know when, um, but like I said, I was blackout drunk. But I, I was just getting to know them. I was just talking to them uh, in the bar. I was just, I was just chatting away. Okay. Uh, what is? I would say, right, that there is a non-zero percent chance. A non-zero percent chance that Bren just spent all of his money while he was really drunk. And he didn't get robbed. I think there's a non-zero percent chance that that's what happened. And then as soon as I saw that he took all my money, I was like, um, well, you've taken all my money. I just confronted them about it and then stood up and then the fucking Gaijin card kicked in, me being over six foot. And then, um, <laughs> the, I just walked out, they didn't stop me, but the old bloke, not old bloke, not the old old bloke who I'd followed initially to get here, to get to that area with the bars room, the, um, the, the, the bloke the, from Ghana who, who lured me into this bar with, with, uh, with promises of friendship, um, <laughs> he followed me out and he felt really bad. I could tell he felt bad. I had, I had fucking like injected remorse into his heart for the first time. And so he kept trying to give me money for the cab fare. And I sat him down and I said, listen to me, uh, Succession. That was his name. I don't know why his name was Succession. That's the name he gave me. I said, listen to me. I came from nothing. <laughs> I stared into his soul and I, I gave him, I gave him the business. I gave him, I gave him my heart. I said, I came from, I can, I come from no money at all. And oh you, my you know, god you know, here you take my money i said it's it's disgusting and i, I just went off at him and made him feel so fucking bad <laughs> he, he just kept trying to give me money for the camp fair and i said no i don't want your money no i don't want your money i'm gonna find my own way back <laughs> but i want you to remember this remember this this trust you betrayed because it's about a friendship <laughs> and then uh, i just found this the store took some money out and then called her can you remember can you imagine brent being so so drunk that he's he's just completely black out and he says i've come from nothing and then also says remember this you betrayed my trust we could have had a lovely friendship went home got home at 7 a.m but yeah all that for a hundred dollars not bad not bad honestly in terms of trades <laughs> oh god God, that's so fucking funny. That is so good. <laughs> Go to a bar while he's up in Japan. Go to a bar with an old man you just met in Japan. Go to a bar with an old man you just met and got mugged in Japan. Claim you knew the entire time you were going to get mugged and went along with it anyways. <laughs> Oh, Christ.